สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a and it's Thursday October 5th. Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PBC Phuket dot com. Officials are again on watch for potential flooding in Phuket town after more than 42 millimeters of rainfall drenched the town within three hours on Tuesday afternoon. Again, Soi Panyang in Samkong suffered minor flooding after just a few hours of rain, as the street itself became inundated under several inches of flood water, slowing traffic to a crawl. Officials also monitored the water level in the b a n g y a i Canal in Phuket Town as it rose, though it was declared safe by 8:30 p.m. on Wednesday. Officials still urge local residents to be prepared for any further downpours that may cause flooding with little warning. People living in the Phuket City Municipality area in need of sandbags or in need of help due to flooding were asked to call the Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Division at Phuket City Municipality at the number on your screen or the emergency hotline 199. There's currently no weather warning in effect for Phuket or the surrounding area, and the Phuket Marine Office also has not issued any specific warning to boat operators during the current weather. Though Phuket Marine Chief Nachaprong Pranit has issued a notice instructing all boat operators to exercise caution when putting to sea and to follow all instructions by marine officials. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Authorities at the Phuket International Airport, operated by the airports of Thailand, have posted a sign warning all taxi drivers not authorized by the AOT to pick up passengers at the airport will be fined 2,000 baht. The warning informs that all quote public hire vehicles or taxis. And personal cars being used as taxis that are not authorized by the AOT are forbidden from entering the airport grounds, as violators face a 2,000 baht fine. Currently, the only taxi app whose drivers are allowed to pick up passengers at the airport is Grab, which became the first and remains the only taxi app service to be permitted to pick up passengers at the Phuket International Airport. At the launch of allowing Grab drivers to serve the airport, the AOT president k r a t i k i m j a n a w a t Announced that other taxi app services were being quote considered and being allowed to serve passengers at the airport, but that was over a month ago, and the AOT has yet to announce any other taxi app services being approved to serve the airport. Since being royally endorsed as the 30th Prime Minister of Thailand on August 23, Prime Minister s e r t a t a w i s i n has twice visited Phuket to discuss quote issues affecting Phuket's tourism and transport development. But not once has he even recognized the decades-long issue of cartel-controlled taxis enforcing, through terms and conditions set by the AOT, with law enforcement support by tourist police, local police, and the transport office. Instead, the prime minister has focused on announcing the budget amounts to be spent on improving the airport and the road network on the island, the same road network that tourists, unless they bring their own cars with them, will need to use taxis to travel on in order to reach their hotels. Among the latest developments at the airport, however, is the creation of a new airport security center, bolstered by a host of law enforcement officers tasked with the mandate of quote ensuring safety and convenience for tourists. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Police have arrested three people across two provinces, who they say sold a blank gun and ammunition to a 14-year-old who went on a shooting rampage at the Siam Paragon Shopping Mall in the heart of Bangkok on Tuesday. That left two people dead and five others wounded. The arrest came after the commissioner of the Metropolitan Police ordered other officers to gather evidence and seek court approval for issuing warrants against the three individuals involved in the illegal sale of firearms and ammunition. Two of them were arrested in Yala Province in the Deep South. One was arrested in Bangkok. A police investigation found that the 14-year-old boy contacted an online gun seller, expressing his interest in firearms. Though the teenager hesitated about obtaining a real gun due to the relatively high price, he then placed an order for ammunition, transferred the money, and received the parcel at his condo room in Bangkok s a t h o r n District, according to police, which did contain real bullets. The teen subsequently ordered a modified blank gun, later used in the deadly shooting at the shopping mall. Police say the teen borrowed money through an online money lending app and later transferred it to the seller, who later sent the gun to his condo. 
he had bought it all off of a Facebook page that sells firearms online, which was shut down on the day of the shooting. After shooting dead two people and wounding five others in a rampage that lasted over an hour at Siam Paragon Mall in Bangkok, he surrendered to police. He's now been remanded to a juvenile detention center where he's undergoing psychiatric assessment. The national police chief said the teenager did not take his psychiatric medication prior to the shooting. He now faces murder charges and a slew of weapons charges. The incident has prompted the Interior Minister and Deputy Premier Anutin Chamvirekun to call for a review of all gun control laws, including BB guns and blank guns that could pose harm after modification. Meanwhile, the National Police Chief, Police General Torsak Sukvimol, says that they're now looking to close legal loopholes related to firearm classification and online sales as part of a stepped-up gun control effort. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket's new governor, Sopon Suwanarat, has officially arrived on the island to take up his new post and replace retiring governor, Narong Wuncheo. The new governor, along with his wife, received a warm welcome on landing at the Phuket International Airport shortly before noon on Wednesday. The couple moved to the Phuket City Pillar Shrine in Tepkasatri to pay homage to the monument before then paying their respects at the Heroines Monument to honor Phuket's revered sister heroines. The couple traveled south to Wat Chalong to pay their respects there before engaging with the media and then moving on to the governor's residence on the north side of Phuket town. Before being appointed to the position here in Phuket, Governor Sopong was the governor of Chayapum province. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thank you so much for joining us today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.